Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at a number, another one of my favorite menu bar applications, and that is iStat Menus. Now, the beauty of iStat Menus is that it allows you to keep tabs on your Mac and gives you more information than you would normally find in the system settings on the Mac itself. And so as a result, it allows you to monitor all kinds of things, including your CPU, your GPU, your memory, your disks, network, sensors, battery time, I mean, just all kinds of things. And it gives you some quick ways to take care of the various items that are happening on your Mac as well. So let me just show you what this looks like. So this is the iStat Menus interface. And you can see here it gives you kind of a little a walk through on how to use it. Uh, down here you can choose uh, what you want the menu bar skin to look like, whether you want it uh, black or whether you want it white, uh, whether you want a uh, color in there. Um, you know, it gives you a lot of different options for the menu bar skin, as well as the graphs, whether you want the graphs in white or you want them in black. And you can see if you look at my menu bar up above, even as I click these, it will give it a black background with let's say a blue color or whatever color you want on there or I could just go with white and have it blend. So it really depends on the, on how you want to view it. I think I'll just leave it on that one for right now. Uh, you can also have a drop-down theme as well, whether you want the drop-down white or black, and uh, you can style those various things. Now you can also set the update frequency if you want slow, medium, or fast. And I found that the medium is the default and it works pretty well. So anyway, so this is the general uh, setup, and these are the menus uh, up here, the menu bar items. But I'll show you how to set them up first, and I'll show you what they do. So the first here is CPU and GPU. And what this does is this gives you information on the actual CPU, um, how the cores are doing, and all of that. And it also gives you information on uh, you know, the heat of the sensor and uh, various graphs on, on different things. If you look up here in the menu bar, you notice that I've got the CPU combined into one, but this is uh, an i7 four core. So if I just uncheck this combined cores, you'll see that now I get a graph for each of the cores that I have uh, on my Mac, and I can see how they're running. So you can see how expandable this can be. Now if I want to add uh, other information up there, like maybe temperature, I just take this here and just drag it up, and I add that, and now it's giving me the temperature of each of the cores going across the top. So that's another addition that I can do. Uh, I can add other things too in terms of graphs. You know, if I wanted to add another graph up here, I can do that as well. And that will give me, uh, you know, kind of the uh, overall information here. Uh, so let's just go ahead and take that off. So you can move things around and add them or subtract them at any time. Now, when I go up here and I can say group items in menu bar, and if I do that, you can see how it's now grouped them together by their different, uh, you know, this is the graph and these are the temperatures of the cores or I can ungroup those. Now what I can do as well is I can go underneath here and if I click on this I get this nice drop down menu that gives me more information and you can see here I've got information on each of the cores. Uh, you can see the blue is user, the red is system, and then we've got idle. So you can see how many processes and how many threads I have rolling there. Down here you get an idea of what uh, processes are taking up what percentage of the uh, CPU power. And then you can see down here you've got frames per, sef per second for the Intel graphics and the video memory. And you can see you get a nice graph of what's happened over the last 24 hours. And then down here you've got uptime. And you can see the last hour, last 24 hours, last seven days. So again, a lot of, a lot of great information here. Now down here I've also got quick access to things like activity monitor, to the console, to terminal, uh, to the uh, information on my Mac right there and then right back here to the iStat menus interface. So again, um, like I said, just gives you a lot of great information up there. I'm going to go ahead and just combine the cores for right now and leave that alone. Now, same thing with memory. On memory I have the option of adding uh, different items in here and you can see here I've got my memory right here and it shows how much memory is being used. Now I can show the app usage as size or percentage. If I go to percentage it's just going to change the graph to show the percentage of memory used, or I can say the size. Uh, I can also display the format as memory pressure or traditional. And uh, so just a different way of displaying the format. Now, if I just come up here to memory, same kind of thing with the drop-down, right? I get memory pressure, and it shows the last hour, last 24 hours as I go over that. It shows how much is, how much is wired or compressed, how much is used, how much is uh, cache. 
and then I've got different processes in how much they're using uh, memory. So that if I'm getting uh, too much memory pressure or I'm running out of memory, I can go in to Activity Monitor and get rid of the different things that might be taking up too much memory. And you can see down here of swap memory, you can see how, mu how much my memory has been used. And then you can see the page ins and the page outs uh, that are happening there. So anyway, so another good way of looking at that. Now I get the same thing with disks. I can look at my disks and see how full they are. Uh, or I can also put things on there like temperature. So if I wanted the temperature uh, of my disk, you can see it's uh, about 76. Uh, not temperature, I mean percentage. You can see it's 76% full. If I'd rather see that, and you can see I've got more information up there as well. I can have read and write speeds and all of that added in here. I can combine activity for all disks or I can use a separate uh, fusion drive activity if I wanted to as well. And you can see I can show activity of unmounted disks, removable disks, a lot of information here. And then whatever disks I want to show in the menu bar, I just drag and drop them up here and they'll show up, up up top. So if I just click on the SSD, same type of thing, you can see I've got all my drives here and it shows how much space is free. And if I again just hover over them, you can see how much it's been used over the last so many hours and such and uh, you can see that for all my different drives and then down here you can see the read and write times that are that are happening uh, live as different applications are reading and writing to the drives so another, again another great monitor and way to monitor those things I can monitor the network as well and so I can see the network uh, you know up and down uh, information I can see it as a graph as well if I wanted to see it that way and again, the primary interface can be auto automatic, Ethernet, iPhone, you know, any one of my connections uh, that's there, depending on if I have multiple connections. And then I can do the graph as opposed, centered, you know, uh, stacked, just different ways of viewing it. I'll just leave it that way. And, uh, and again, I can just uh, customize it and just decide whether I want to show IPv6 as well. So again, if I come up here and I just click on the network, now I get information on my network, location, public IP, get information on Ethernet, um, upload, uh, amount of upload and download, uh, things that are not connected, these different connections that I've got in system preferences. And so there we go, it reset for me. And then I can see the ups and downs by the different applications. And again, this gives me quick access to network monitor, again, things related to working with my network. Awesome, now I got sensors as well. And what this does is this shows me sensors. I can see fan speed or the different sensors that are on here. And right now I've just got the uh, main sensor that shows the uh, temperature. And I can do it by d different degrees, Kel uh, Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin. And then I can choose the different temperature sensors that I actually want to monitor. And so it's got all of these different sensors, exhaust for the fan, CPU sensors. And so what's great is every one of the sensors I've got, I can actually set on here and check out by uh, by looking up here and again if I click this you can see all the sensors in one place right here and again it just shows how it's doing the exhaust on the fan how the fan spins up and all that so anyway then I got battery power and so like if I've got a laptop I can check out my battery power I can set up my own time clock there and then I can combine a bunch of things together so again uh, a great application a great way to monitor your Mac and uh, definitely one of my favorite menu bar applications so that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.